Hello and welcome to the 19th video in this series of videos on programming an engine in C. The last video we had this update lists and material function here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is take these two these comment lines out of here because they take up a necessary space. And I said in this video we were going to look at setting the pawns on the board because this isn't done in this function. And also we were going to look at the checkboard function that we can use to assert later that everything's okay on the board. Now I've actually written out this function, which is here, but I've realized in doing so that I've actually forgotten one vital thing from the start of the program, and that is we need a couple of arrays, and those arrays are going to be arrays that when we say that, that will tell us for a given square on the board what file or rank that square is on. So for instance, we all have an array that has all of these squares that are highlighted now set as rank 1, all of these as rank 2, and so on and all of these, another array, all of these as file A, file B, file C, and so on. So that you can simply say, for example, what file is square 66 on, and it'll return you then the answer file F, for example, or rank 5, if you're asking for the rank. So not really rocket science, very simple, but vital nonetheless. So I've defined them in two arrays, and I'll put them inside init.c, files BRD and ranks BRD, with our board square number constant. And I'm going to take these two and drop them as well into defs.h in the bottom of the global section to make them visible all over. And we might even next time add a macro in there to use them so there's less typing to do. And then the remaining thing to do in this video then is to write the very simple function required just to initialize these. And it's not rocket science, so it's a bit of copy and paste job again because I'm sure it's fairly obvious how it's going to work. But the first thing we do is, as always, at the top of the function, define our variables that we're going to be using. And the next thing we do is loop through every one of the positions in the array for each of these and set them to off-board. So at the moment, everything, including the grey squares here, is set to off-board. The next job, then, is to write another loop which goes through the ra all of the ranks and the files, so all of the squares, effectively going rank first and then file. And you've seen this before on printing the board and initializing some other arrays. Simply getting the square using our file rank to square macro and then setting that square on the files board equal to the file and on the ranks board equal to the rank. And that's all we need to do. And the one last thing I've put down here is a couple of bits of code which will be deleted straight after this video is just to print the resulting arrays out to the screen so we can check that everything is running OK. So I'm going to put this init files ranks board. Hang on, I'll pause a little bit there on that code I've just pasted in. I haven't tested this code, so I'm assuming it works. Right, now that's set there, I'll just put our initialization function down into all init here and save all of this and type make with bated breath and see what it says. Oh, it built. And now let's run vice. And we've got all that game board stuff in there, so I'll just take all of that out, or I'll comment it out for now, because we might be needing it a little bit later. And just make and run this again. OK, so let's see what we've got. So it looks like the files board is OK for 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. And OK, I forgot a new line here on ranks board, but you can see clearly that the ranks board is also going 0, 1, 2. So very good. They've initialized OK, and I'm going to take that code that we don't need to print those out every time the program starts out of the file. Good. OK, so that's done. A little bit of a, a quick addition to the program that I'd forgotten, and in the next video we'll get on with the board checking program and setting the pawn bits on the pawn bit boards when we're setting up a position. Thanks very much for watching. Questions, comments, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.